Hey guys, Kev here, and I have an epic blade battle for you. So, finally it's here. The day has come for the battle. The Maverick S from Christensen Knifeworks versus the Jaeger M from Brian Brown Knives. I'm calling this one the battle for my soul because I could not come up with a catchy name. <laughs> And this one has literally eaten away at me. Like, I wanted to do this battle, right? But I'm afraid of it. Um, I've been on record saying I think the Maverick is a better knife. And then I got a bunch more Jaegers and have been carrying the shit out of the Jaeger. And, oh, man, I don't know. So it's really hard. It really is. I absolutely love this knife. You guys may have seen my review. It's probably the video before this. It's one of my just all-time favorite knives at this point. Um, but I've had, bought, sold like eight Jaegers at this point, And I have another one coming. So I didn't want to do a review on it until I get the last one, I guess. I don't know if I ever will. I've done so many freaking videos on it. It's one of those knives, you know, where it's like, I didn't review it yet. <laughs> Done like eight videos on it. Um, this is difficult. So we're going to see what happens. We're just going to see what happens. That's the cool thing about these battles is I go down the line. So our categories are materials, price, perceived value, ergos, aesthetics, cutting, carry, sounds, action and fidget factor, fit and finish and leftability which i always say this if you're right-handed feel free to remove this category and see if it changes the results again this is all my opinion all my experience all for fun don't take this so seriously if one wins and the other one doesn't and your butt hurt don't worry about it you can love that other knife you know um, if your name's Jim Skelton and you just absolutely love the Jaeger and you can't understand why the Maverick crushed it, well, you know, you're just going to have to, you know, suck on your thumb, you know? Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know if that'll happen, honestly. Now I'm, I, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but Jim Skelton and uh, Redbeard are two of the people that uh, I think have, I've had that conversation with the most in terms of Jaeger versus Maverick, and I just was always Team Maverick. And I've started to shift Team Jaeger, but I love both equally. They're just fantastic knives, right? So I'm going to go ahead and pull this one out uh, for the battle because I think it's more fair if we do stud, hull, no flipper, right? Um, now, this obviously does have a flipper, and you can get it in a flipper, so it is applicable and I might bring it up under Fidget Factor. I, I don't know if it needs to come up during Ergos because, again, you can get it without. So I should, you know, I don't know. Maybe I will leave it on the table and we'll we'll just talk about both. I've had three of these. I've had, like, seven of these. Love the knives, okay? Uh, that's pretty clear, right? So, again, this is the uh, Matt Christensen-designed Maverick S. Both of these are OEM by Riot. Um, and this is the uh, Jaeger M Brian Brown knives. And uh, again, Riot, uh, both newer releases. They both shipped in the last month or so. Um, both are highly touted. Both are really good. Both have amazing hollow grinds. Um, both are sheep's foot style, warning style blades. Um, a lot of similarities. The size isn't quite the same. Um, the Jaeger M is going to be a bigger knife. You're looking around a 3-inch blade on the Maverick S, and you're looking around a 3.4-inch blade on the Jaeger. Not big by any means. Great EDC size, but the Maverick is definitely on, you know, a smaller size knife. Um, so that's something to take into account if you are somebody who's trying to decide between these two or, or whatever. I, I highly recommend you get both. Um, it's worth it. Just trust me on that if you can't afford it. Um, if you can't and you need to pick one, you know, hopefully this helps a little bit, but maybe the size will help you determine. I don't know. Um, but we can get into it and uh, materials. So uh, this is a funny one because uh, 
the Jaeger is M390, and then you have titanium frame lock, and you could get all different kinds of inlays. So there's uh, all these camo carbons, right? There's different colors of it, whatever. There's a rich light one. There's full titanium ones. Um, there's micarta ones, um, right? I don't think there's any like Damasteel or anything like that. And then all the hardware is titanium. So where I think the Maverick shines a little bit here is that on the pre-order directly from him, you could get micarta or full titanium frame lock. So you had the option of an inset liner lock or a frame lock, which is cool. And then you had, uh, I believe it was M390 or 20CV. This is 20CV, so maybe it's 20CV, uh, which is basically the same M390. Belt satin. But these accents were either Zircutai or Zirconium, which to me, I think, bumps the materials category in the favor of the Maverick. And since this version I have is camo carbon with Zircutai, I think it bumps it, you know, because camo carbon, right? But you don't have the Zerkutai. Now, you can buy a kit, like I have a Mokutai kit, and I put the backspacer on, but it came stock like this. This exclusive one did. And they have exclusive Jaegers, and I haven't seen an exclusive Jaeger with this baller of material. So I'm going to go ahead and give it to the Maverick. Um, why did I write their names? right there like what the fuck was i thinking so i'm gonna move materials down here <laughs> yeah off to a great start there kev so i'm gonna give it to the maverick and yeah, zero here all right price so another tricky one but it's gonna go to the jaeger because the price uh for base if you got full tie uh, from Brian Brown, I think I paid 340 330 340 If you got these with the camo carbon inlays, they were 382 So I think like 375 then tax, I think. 382 uh, There's all different ones in between, 350 whatever. The Maverick uh, was 3 I think I paid 370 or 375 for my Carta and Zerk accents um so you could get one the base cheapest one that was for pre-order was more expensive than the cheapest stock jaeger so i'm gonna go ahead and give it to the jaeger then you have perceived value and that's a tough one right now because i don't really know what the market's looking like on the mavericks i know that they're hard to get now that they kind of sold through but i feel like you can get and I've sold two of the pre-ordered ones I had, my Carta, and then I had a Titanium one. And I just sold them for what I paid, right? Like, so you can get your money back on them, but I don't think they're, like, overvalued at this point. Now, the, the Jaeger was. The Jaeger was always, like, way over, right? It was $350, and you could sell it for $450. And even when they came in, these inlaid ones were $382, and they were selling for $4.25, you know, 410, 400. So you were able to sell them for a little bit more. But now I'm not sure how that is because it's flooded now, right? There's 2,000 of these out there. But I think it's still a little bit above retail. I think it's really close, but I think it goes to the Jaeger. Uh, and a part of that is because of uh, track record. You know, if you look back, the Jaeger is just crushed in terms of perceived value. Now, the Maverick, that's not fair because it hasn't been around, but you gotta, I got to choose this somehow. And again, my opinion, my thing here, okay? Don't get all butthurt. Ergos. So, the Maverick S is really comfortable. Um, I love the thickness of the handle, and that's what really, I think, makes it so good is it's a good thickness. It's not super thin. You can hold it in this back grip, large glove size hand. I can hold it like this comfortably, but if I go up onto this flat, it is really comfortable to me. Uh, the only downside is because of the swedge, it makes the spine very thin. So it's not that comfortable to kind of like bear down on it. Did I just...
I don't know. Never mind. I thought I felt something shift. That must have been in my head or something else happening. Anyway, uh, that spine being thin is really the only downside I have to the Ergos. Otherwise, it's fantastic. The Jaeger, and this is where the flipper non-flipper comes in. In this back grip on the Jaeger, it's kind of like the Maverick where it's just kind of, it's a little bit smaller than you want it to be, right? Um, so not wonderful, but it works. And then you have this flat up here just like on the Maverick, and this is really comfortable in hand. Um, now, it is flat scales. They are chamfered really well in the corners, but there are some spots. Um so it is comfortable non-flipper they both really are um i think man this is hard and then with the flipper you have the added flipper tab there but honestly this choil is still good i go in on an angle it's still really good with the flipper honestly it's people have always complained about the flipper and i'm like why it's fucking great um it works really well, and it's not really in the way. So the flipper's awesome on these. Yeah, I think I got to give it to the non-flipper Jaeger. And the main reason why I'm doing that is that swedge, that thinness up here. This handle is wonderful, really comfortable. But having that is uncomfortable if you apply any pressure it's uncomfortable so i gotta give it to the jaeger now if it was flipper versus this i'd go maverick i think that little bit of you know but i have both so jaeger's crushing right now guys aesthetics oh man and I think this is where, in my head, I was like, the Maverick's better. Because, like, I just like the look of it, right? But the more I have the Jaegers, the more I love the look of them. And I, the, the materials here is where it kind of gets you. So, overall design, I like them both, honestly. Um, I like them both a lot. I do. I think, man, fuck me. This is so hard to choose a design. God damn it. I hate this clip. But it's really the only thing that I don't like. That Britney, man, it just gets me. Because, like, if it were the copper one, I'd probably just go for the Maverick. But because of the Britney, it fucking makes it so hard. They're both just gorgeous, man. I think... <sighs> Jaeger, fuck. I don't know why I'm, like, rooting for the Maverick in my head, but I kind of am. But it's the Jaeger on that one. Cutting, man. Uh, you know what? This one... This one I feel like is a tie. And I hate doing ties. But they both have that super aggressive hollow grind. They both come down to a really nice acute tip. They both have a great pinch grip. And they both have just really good penetration. I've actually tested them back to back on shipping labels and stuff. And both are just killers on the shipping labels. So... I really don't have one that I think performs better than the other. I truly enjoy them both. So I'm going to go with a tie. So no points there. Carry. So carry is going to go to the Maverick because I just like the clip better. This clip is a little pokey here. It's, I don't, it's just not the best. It carries fine. It goes in pretty well. You know, you have a good bit sticking out, but I mean, you do here as well. But I think that's where the, the weight comes in. This is very light. Not that this heavy. It carries really good, but it, it takes up more space, I think. It just feels more in the pocket. I don't know. 
I just like the carry better on this. That's really my only reason I like it better, which is the point, right? Sounds. <sighs> that snap on the deployment is so good on the Maverick. But if you get it right, you get the ting on the Jaeger. And when you get that ting, it's like jizz in your pants. I mean, it really is. It's just so satisfying. I don't know if it... It doesn't want to do it inside, but, like, I was just on a walk. Every time I flipped that thing, it tinged. And it was weird. It only did it right-handed. When I did it left-handed, it didn't ting. It was weird. Um, it makes that little bit of a noise now. Because I think the backspacer being Mokutai. Because, listen. I don't know. It's a little more of a thud. This is so good. Like, 9 out of 10. Fucking fantastic. Absolutely love it. But the pants creaming factor of the ting takes it, I think. This is, this is an absolute beatdown. Holy shit. God damn it. Action and fidget factor, yeah. I love fidgeting with this. But I'm a whole guy. So, like, I gotta give it to the Jaeger. God damn it. And then the added bonus of having one that's a flipper, right? You know, I'll always take whole over studs. You know, even though I love that. It's amazing. Fit and finish. So, this is where the Maverick... Uh, hands down wins. Um, the fit and finish on this knife is impeccable. It really is. Uh, the detents dialed. Um, the, the, everything's flush. Everything's perfect. Everything's milled right. The the finishing, the contouring, all of it is absolutely fantastic. The grind, the the it just it's wonderful. The lock bar, all of it. On the Jaegers, there's some issues. Um, you know, Riot did not replicate detent from knife to knife uh, there you know like i had to send this one to brian brown to tune he made it stronger it was a little too strong so i tuned it back then i made it a little too light so then i bent it back in and i made it perfect and now it's money it really is but i had to do all that right um uh, this one came good right these two are basically identical in feel on the detent uh, but I had to adjust this one. This one came that way. I've had, you know, like five or six other ones, and it's been hit or miss. Um, then uh, the centering, it seems like all of them are just a tiny bit off to the clip side when they're tight. Tiny bit off. You can loosen it and maybe get it without play to be centered, uh, but it's just that tiny bit off to the clip side. And this thing is just dead on nuts. Uh, the pivot collar on this is not flush. On this one in particular, you can see it's ever so slight. Man, I wish I could. I don't know if you can. See. It might be imperceptible. But I can, like, see it right there catching. On this one, perfectly flush. And the difference is the thickness of the carbon fiber or could i guess be how deep they milled the scale to place it in but look how much sticks out like look at how tall the carbon fiber sticks out that's one thing in itself is that it's not a flush inlay it would, this knife would be incredible if it had a flush inlay but then this one is lower it doesn't stick up as much there's not as much inlay sticking out and that tiny little bit is why it's not flush. Um, I asked Brian Brown about that, and he confirmed it. So I've heard some other things from people, like there was excess glue on some of them, like whatever. Um, so they just weren't perfect, where I handled three, four, five, maybe six Mavericks, and they were all just like money. You know what I mean? Slight variance in detent, of course, which is pretty par for the course on a production knife honestly but not anywhere where like any of them needed to be adjusted 
that's always been the thing with Riot. Their tolerance, right? Like, yeah, there always is going to be variance. But, like, they were always in a good realm. Like, the D10 was always good to great, right? They never wandered to not good, you know? Or too light or too strong, right? And with the Jaegers, they did that. They, they crept to too light on some of them. Um... Which, you know, it sucks to see that, but, you know, it's okay. It's just, anyway, fit and finish is going to the Maverick is the short story. And then left ability goes to the Maverick, too, because this is an inset liner lock. You had that option, and there's no lock bar to get in your way. You can just, you know, flick it. You can reverse flick it. I put my thumb right where I want to and flick it. On the Jaeger, I have to climb down to the clip, which, honestly, is very easy, but... My natural position, if I picked the knife up and went to flick it, would be right here. And I can't do that. I have to climb down a little bit and then flick it. So, for that reason, it's not as lefty-friendly. And that's really the only difference. But the Maverick gets it. Maverick gets it. So, there you go. It was an absolute beatdown by the Jaeger. I mean, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. All right, it wasn't that bad. If you're right-handed, that takes it down to, you know, uh, what, six to three, I guess. Uh, not as bad as I thought, but the Jaeger is your winner. And I, I guess I was rooting for the Maverick here. Uh, but I suppose I do like the Jaeger better. I don't know. Uh, one other thing I don't love is it's a little sharp right here. The lock bar doesn't. It's not chamfer right here. Should have been knocked down on this corner right here. They're all like that too. Um, yeah, both are utterly fantastic knives. Um, but I guess it's got to go to the Jaeger. Got to bow to the Jaeger. Everybody fucking loves the Jaeger. I I love it too. Uh, clearly, um, but I was I was rooting for the Mav, man. I was rooting for the Mav. Still love you, Maverick. Love you a lot. But I guess inherent things like thumb studs, you know, make it to where I prefer holes. You know, it's just kind of a thing. Um, so anyway, that's it. You guys, let me know what you think down in the comments. Which one would you pick? Do you have both? Uh, if you do, which one do you choose? If you don't, are you looking to get one? Is that why you watch the video? Or are you just watching it for my nonsense? You know, all that good stuff. Leave it in the comments. If you wouldn't mind subscribing. Uh, there's a lot of people that watch this channel that aren't subscribed. If you subscribe, it helps me out a lot. Uh, you can hit the like button. There's Patreon memberships. There's links. You can pick stuff up. Helps the channel. Helps you out too. It's just mutually beneficial um uh, just trying to keep the the channel growing check out devo knives that's my knife brand uh we have a knife coming very soon uh that was up for pre-order but we have extras uh we're getting another one into production so things are rolling but i love you guys uh if either of brian brown or matt christensen watch this you guys absolutely killed both of these knives it, the outcome yeah whatever they're both utterly fantastic. They're both home run level knives. Killed it. You guys should be extremely proud. I am proud to own them. So I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. And I will catch you later.